I'm Dante. Enchanté. Let's race! This film is the tenth part of the franchise, which tells the story of the challenging life of Dominic Toretto and his team. According to Vin Diesel, this film will conclude the main saga, but since it's not the last film in the franchise, I highly doubt it. Throughout each part, I had the impression that Toretto was desperately trying to make a name for himself, get Fury to pay attention to him and join the Avengers team, because he just can't inferior to, let's say, Captain America, right? Dominic would jump from great heights into water, rarely get any scratches during fights, and fly over bridges to save Letty. In Part 9 he even hinted that he is a descendant of Hercules himself, destroying concrete pillars in a secret storage of an international agency. Members of his team even went to space in their cars. The tenth part has no shortage of feats and absurdity as well. The film begins with a family dinner at Dominic's house. Usually, every film ends with this moment, but not this time. Now the film is divided into two parts, and at the end of the film, the plot suggests Dominic's demise. However, considering how many times the main characters have been resurrected in the franchise, it's unlikely that Dominic actually died, especially since his son, whom he desperately tried to save, was with him. Considering the fact that from the very beginning the franchise was all about street racers who would find themselves in various troublesome situations and had to break free, the recent films resemble the Marvel ones, where they have to save the world because, apparently, no one else can. The main characters have become somewhat annoying and predictable. You can even predict every line Dominic says, especially when he talks about family. Family, 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 family. Roman Pierce, with his intellect and behavior, resembles a teenager whose hormones are raging. The main characters are, of course, skilled and cool racers. But then they become professional bank robbers, experts in secret military technology. And in the end, they become an elite mercenary special forces unit that performs superheroic tasks to save the world, destroying everything around them without getting a scratch. Taking the proportion of the franchise into account, one of the upcoming films has to be about protecting the planet from an alien invasion. However, Momoa did a fantastic job playing Dante. His character is quite specific and unconventional, which is conveyed excellently through his behavior and image. For the franchise, he becomes a breath of fresh air, compared to all the villains, he appears much more confident. Dante is the only one who manages to outsmart Toretto. Of course, Cypher also forces Dominic to work for her, but only by threatening to kill his son. Dante, on the other hand, succeeds in separating all the members of the family so that they can't come to Dominic's aid. By the end of this film, we are shown how almost all the people close to him die under carefully orchestrated circumstances. However, if that were true, there wouldn't be any more films to follow. Therefore, if Dominic manages to survive in the eleventh part, the next villain should be an adapted version of Thanos to give them a worthy adversary to face. In conclusion, I hope that the eleventh film will be the final one for the entire franchise because there is nothing left to surprise the audience with. There are too many illogical and absurd moments that have ruined the overall picture.